Hi. In today's session, we'll try to use a widget communication using broadcast and the on listening method to do widget communication. So instead of broadcast, you can use emit also. Uh, both of them work similarly. Just the difference is that the broadcast would work from parent to child and uh, the emit would come, I mean, work from the child scopes and it would ultimately propagate to the root scope. Okay, so today's use case would be to shift this request functionality from the menu to maybe uh, to a button level over here. So we'll try to put up a button over here. So on click of the button, I should get the my request details below it. So go to page designer so that we can prepare the base for our solution. So we would like to put a button over here. So let me get the container. So we'll put the container over here because we want a you know horizontal button here. Now we'll try to create the button. So I would be using out of the box icon link uh, to create a button. So I think this is the simplest one. So I would just customize icon link and use it for our requirement. So we have just cloned the icon link and we would be cloning the my request widget also. So we want to send an event from this widget and we want to catch that uh, event on another widget. So let's write a broadcast function for it. Let's say our function would be icon click. Okay, now let's design the broadcast. So we'll have our event. So let's name it as SN3M event. And this event uh, would contain this data. So this is the hyperlink here. And uh, we'll just go to the end of it and we'll put a ng click function. So when this I hyperlink is clicked, then we want a function to be executed. Which function? The one we just created. So we are on the my uh, request widget. So what we are going to do here is we are, we are going to put up a listener. And now in my request, we'll go here, we'll just put a ng if. So if the condition is true, then show the div, otherwise don't show it. As simple as that. So on our designer, we'll get the widgets which we created. So on portal page, we'll just configure the icon link widget. So now when I click on it, it should work. And we have the request displayed below. 